hello, I'm back sooner than planned because as I was starting to put everything away, I remembered, well, I had this, still had that half a butternut squash, half a spaghetti squash, that's probably what my husband's gonna get for dinner. So I thought I would whip it up into something and show you how I, how I cook. Okay, so what I decided to do was get all the squash out of its shell. I have a half a butternut and a half of a spaghetti here it up a little bit. I got an onion out. I'm going to chop a half an onion out. And do you remember what I do with my um, onion top and my onion skin? It doesn't go in the compost. It goes in the broth bag in the freezer, right? So here I'm chopping up an onion. Not quite fine, but good enough. Just about... Um, Seems a little, a little much actually for how much, it's pretty much onion for how much squash I have there, but I'm going to be adding this other stuff to it, so should be okay. Okay, so I got an onion, got a couple of mushrooms, got a red pepper, cut the top off of it, top goes in the freezer, middle in the freezer. All right, so let's cut this baby. Let's use half of that, maybe. And peppers are so expensive, aren't they? In the summer, if you could ever get a good buy on peppers, freeze them so that you have them. Like for stir fry and stuff, they're fine in the winter. You don't have to have fresh peppers all winter long because in highway robbery, right? Okay, this is a purple kale. So any kind of greens that you have, we're gonna be doing, remember I told you earlier that I thought uh, what would be nice with this would be um, shrimp and kale. I think I told you that. And then voila, I was thinking, oh, shrimp and kale. Okay, so these stems might be a little bit much to have in there. I'm gonna include the stems that I chopped up in there. I used to take the kale off of its stem, but I discovered you don't really need to. Okay, so we got that stuff going right there. This is arugula. It's a spicy kind of lettuce. And uh, Kevin, my husband, loves it. So I'm gonna throw arugula in there when I get this going. What I'm gonna do is get my big skillet here with either some oil or some butter in it. I am going to take these five shrimp that I have defrosted by just putting them in hot water. And this is just from a bag of shrimp like this that I keep in the freezer. And I'm gonna take five of them and uh, just take their <coughs> shells off real quick. I think I have five, maybe six. And take the big mud vein out of them if it's got one in it. That last one didn't have one in it, this one did. So. <coughs> I'm gonna stir fry it back there. So now I have to decide what kind of um, flavoring to put with it, spice-wise. Remember that I had that um, squash for lunch myself with turmeric, cinnamon, and nutmeg. That all sounds good. But Kevin loves um, spicy things. He loves ginger, he loves garlic. So why not all of those plus ginger and garlic, right? So right now what I'm doing is just chopping up the uh, shrimp a little bit, just keeping it all on one cutting board, which maybe not be the best thing in the world. But okay, so I've got my um, burner hot. I'm putting my big, I love this. If you don't have a pan like this, you do not know what you're missing. Got that there. I'm gonna put in about a tablespoon of butter. to have in my refrigerator needed to be used getting it off of its little foil there okay so we got that going in there i'm not one for chopping up garlic or ginger i know it's a wonderful thing to have fresh but you know what it is nine o'clock at night and i'm not going to be doing that i'm going to take though about a tablespoon of garlic chopped up, and this is a ginger paste, and I'm going to take 
about a teaspoon of it. Then I'm going to get the onions and peppers in there. Some of the tail falling in with it, but that's all right. I'm going to get the stirring that. Needing more oil. Just happen to have some olive oil right here. I generally do not go for the just pour olive oil in because you tend to just get too much. So I measure it out. There's a tablespoon. Even if I'm not using a recipe that calls for a tablespoon, I just start with a tablespoon so I don't get carried away. Okay, so we got this onions and garlic and ginger being flavored there. Uh, get that squash right in there. So is that what I want to do? Now I think I'll get some shrimp and kale in next. All right. Lovely. Now, Kevin loves a lot of salt in his food. And I'll be having this probably some of it for leftovers tomorrow, maybe. He doesn't need it all, but he might. You know what I had for dinner? I had sardines and mustard sauce. And what did I have before that? Oh, I had that that um, squash stuff that I made just like this, only spiced, or like really kind of late in the afternoon. I did some groups tonight, so I did one at 5 30. Hang on, I the sardines. I'm not hungry right now, so something's holding me. All right, that looks good. I'm going to put half of this in first, half of the spaghetti and half of the, just to see if it looks like it's about the right amount. I can always save that and have it for lunch myself tomorrow. That effect is what I think I'll do. Okay. So my skillet isn't, it's like a little bit worn on the bottom, so I'm having to keep stirring it, not letting it sit at all. This is looking really lovely, as you can see. Beautiful colors, the shrimp's done, the kale's not overcooked. Oh, eh, I forgot the cardamom cinnamon and nutmeg. Not too surprising, actually. I'm going to add a little bit of it. Cinnamon. Yeah, oh, not cardamom. Um, this is nutmeg, and you know you go really light on nutmeg. So, however much you think you can put in, put in half as much usually with nutmeg. Clothes the same way. You can overpower things really quickly with those two spices. Turmeric. Good on that. That'd be good. Okay, so you have learned now how to throw together a quick dinner for if your husband is coming home in just a few minutes and you have some squash and you have things in your refrigerator. If you don't have the things that I have, go ahead and use what you have. Um, if you're going out to buy them specifically, make sure that you get things of color, right? So you want some dark green things, you want some red, orange to go with the butternut squash. You wouldn't have to use the shrimp for protein. You could use black beans, or you could use, um, if you have any chicken, a uh, chicken breast in your, in your freezer would be a great thing to use. Just put it all together and use those spices that I used, which was the garlic paste, the garlic, um, turmeric, nutmeg, cinnamon, and salt and pepper. There you go. Hoping for peace in the world, wishing you peace of mind. Namaste.